Kia ora guys, I'm at the Internet Mana Road Trip in Wellington. I've been travelling across the country to talk to voters and non-voters about the newest political movement. So kia ora Lila, um, what about the ears? Meow! <laughs> We're the cat party. A bit of the internet party. This is the mascot of the internet. Yeah, yeah, the internet cat. Um, but I've been told I can't wear them for the whole interview, and actually they make it quite difficult to hear you. So I oh no! Take I suppose the coalition for me works really well in terms of um, reaching out. So it's good that uh, Dot Com and Lila are part of it too. Oh, definitely. I mean, I think um, they just bring a whole new aspect to what the party looks like. I think, you know, you, it's it's a party that is going to be um, entering into, um, you know, the government willing to fight for the common people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and that's what both sides do. Sports and uh, politics are a bit different. Um, do you think that's good for getting maybe non-engaged people interested in politics? Some, yeah, some, some, definitely. I mean, I, I, I suppose working on Māori television myself, um, sort of being, uh, um, you know, being involved in my culture for a long time means that, um, you know, if I can inspire some of the rangatahi to, uh, to maybe think about it just a little bit, um, you know, register. What do you think about Kim.com? Oh, he's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. You met yeah. him? Um, no, uh, no. we want to. She said that we're going to meet him today. Oh, do you think you've got a chance against Graham Robertson? <laughs> Probably not. We're we're asking for party votes um, for this election. The whole goal is to grow the vote. Um, you know, we're not really looking to to um, grab votes from here or votes from there. We're looking to actually grow the pie and. Um, create a more representative democracy in New Zealand. Really keen on the internet party side to get um, Miriam Perard and Chris Young um, into Parliament because I think they would be fantastic young um, vibrant voices for New Zealand to have. When you take a look at the internet party one thing does become clear they're playing politics far differently than everyone else. Like the party party did you go to that? Yeah yeah totally. I danced for a good six hours got to sit next to the big guy Kim.com. Oh, really? Talk to him. So I'm going to support a national government. Yeah. That's our bottom line. Um, did it leave the Māori Party, was it? Because they were working with national? Ah, uh, yeah. That was the main reason? That was the absolute reason. Um, we'd gone in strong, very powerful, take shit from nobody, and within a couple of years we'd become quiet as mice. John Key said the uh, internet party's only real policy is to keep you in New Zealand. Well, that's um, his spin, obviously, because he doesn't have any other message against what we stand for, our policies and our disruptive progressive So, uh, so I come from a generation that got free tertiary yeah. education. We had no student fees and we got a universal living allowance. We weren't means tested on our parents' income, however old we were. That's what we want to reintroduce. We want to scrap the loan scheme um, because we think it's a disgrace that politicians who got a free education then turn around and charge younger people for their education and we just don't support that and New Zealand can't afford engagement. The internet party are big on that. Yeah. Do you think other parties need to step up? Oh I really don't care what other parties do, eh? I mean yeah, yeah no, but I mean they, they just do it for the votes. Yeah. You know like when I was saying before about that that young fellow at my school, yeah. he forced me to say holy shit. You know, am I losing touch with my own kids? Hey, okay, so um, yeah so for me it's it, you know, votes are a bonus. Yeah. If you can connect with young people in a way that they want to, they want to carry the message themselves, then then you're winning. If they then vote, well, that's great. But I mean, if you're just doing it for votes, then you shouldn't be doing it at all. We're announcing the game. We are involving youth in the policy making process. We are giving them apps to communicate. You know, we are involving them with direct democracy tools that no one else has. So we are already changing the political landscape. You're interested in having more direct democracy, like with uh, binding referendums, maybe? Absolutely. I mean, we were the first party to introduce an app for members to sign up. Before it was only possible by paper, just a second. 
So what we want to do next is to allow everyone in New Zealand to vote digitally. And once you have a system like that in, in place, you can of course do binding referenda as well. One, but we do believe that our pro policies will halve the price of the internet. At the moment New Zealanders are paying unusually high prices for internet connections. Um, that's because, yes, because we have a monopoly at the moment yeah. on the provision of cable services. So we're going to regulate that and build a second cable which will bring down the price of internet by half. I deeply and honestly believe that we need to get the, the cost of broadband down. Um, I mean you heard from our speakers today that is part of what's critical to getting the right infrastructure in place so that we can build this digital economy. I mean, from that, we need to get second submarine cables coming into this country. We need to have more competition. We need to lower the cost. We need to make sure that almost every single town has got access to a quality connection, which is fine. You know, we can't just rely on milk and foresting and all the old economy uh, sectors. We need to create uh, uh, the internet economy sector in New Zealand, make it strong and grow the pie so everyone can do better in this country. But could him pass this election? Hell yeah, why not? I mean, the guy's got really good ideas, eh? And what I like about him, right from the time I first met him, was everything he said was so different to everything I know. So it's challenging me. It's forcing me outside my, my normal experience and forcing me to try to see whether what he's saying can fit with what I do. Because with this party and with the relationship with Mana, we have an opportunity to do politics very differently. I think you would have heard that we talk differently from other politicians. Yeah, yeah. But you could have started your own party. Did you need Kim.com? Um, the, the reality of politics is that without resources, you can have all the good ideas in the world, but you need to put the people and the resources together to win. And that's the great opportunity we've got with the Internet Party. Fine. Our policies are all developed by our members. We have the most democratic um, policy making system of any party. Anyone can see it, it's online on our policy platform and on our policy incubator powered by Lumio. It's a great way of making decisions. We don't need to steal policy from anyone. We've got a fantastic membership writing great policy. Uh, New Zealand real estate, New Zealand farms have been sold offshore. Well, I don't know. I don't really have a strong opinion about that. You know, I'm a foreigner myself. Uh, I was declined to buy my home. At the time, I didn't really understand why. It didn't make any sense to me. I came here, I created jobs, I invested a lot of money in the country. And later, of course, we found out why they didn't give it to me, the right to buy the house, because the Americans wanted to have more liquid assets to see. Uh companies, foreign people buying New Zealand real estate and businesses, is yeah, that, that a worry? That's a no-no. It's a no-no? Yeah, absolutely. Clinton didn't seem too bothered on it before. Yeah, maybe he's not, but certainly Mana is. And, yeah, uh, so and, you can... and our policy is no. Yeah. I mean, you can't go to China buy any land in China. So, if you can't go to China buy land in China, don't let the Chinese come in and buy land here. It's just simple. It's all there. Um, and that's one way of protecting your sovereignty. Just to maintain control of your lands. Uh, no reason why you can't lease it out to, to people for certain periods of time, but you don't ever sell your sovereignty. And a cool thing, I guess, for candidates is you get paid to be a candidate with the Internet Party, don't you? Yes, I'm on contract until the election. Um, Given, given uh, my, I guess where I am on the list, there, there was a requirement for me to be quite active and to partake in a lot of these things. So I've given up my, my regular job now to focus on this. Do you, is this a bit of pain job, if you don't mind me asking? Um, look, I'm getting paid what, what was um, announced by the party, which is the equivalent of a, of a backbenchers salary. But that's yeah. public knowledge. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you.